Hello everyone, welcome back to my journey to the world of Stable Diffusion and Automatic E11.11. In my last video I did a basic animation with image to image patch, but in today's video I'm going to try throw control net into the mix and see what happens. Please keep in mind this is not a tutorial per se, but rather my way of demonstrating the results of my tinkering. In Stable Diffusion I've already prepared the setup and dialed in a few things. So I have my prompts, I have my negative prompts. Uh, we went for the checkpoint, let's go ahead and check, choose Shoot Cartoon for this demonstration. That'll load that into this drop down here. In the image to image tab, the video needs to be split up. The video I'm choosing is this one from Pixels of a woman dancing on the bed. I've already gone ahead and split the video up into separate frames or separate images. So I'll take the first image from that video and drag it in here. Then I'll make sure that the sampling method is EULA A, sampling steps is 30. We want to make sure the width and height are set correctly for the image, but not too high because the uh, checkpoint I'm using is still the 1.5 model. Uh, as well as if the image is too high, control net seems to crash on me when I have them too high. Uh, I have the CFG scale set to 10, denoising strength to 0 0.5, seed is minus 1, so consider that a random seed. I have enabled the AD Taylor extension and given it a prompt with just the details of the face and left all the body details off. Then over here in the control net, I've chosen Kenny, Soft Edge and Open Pose. You will have to play with these settings. They give different results depending on the image, uh, depending on the, the weights, and it might not work the same view. So I just suggest having this as a starting point and readjust to find out what works best for you. So in the Kenny control net, we have to upload an independent control image, which will be the same image as the one above. Make sure that Kenny is selected, and we can go ahead and click this run pre-processor, run pre-processor to see the results of, of the Kenny. In the soft edge, we need to do the same, upload an independent control image, drag the image in, click the run preprocessor and that's what that looks like and I propose again upload an image we can take a look I'm using DW open pose you can run the preprocessor get that a moment and there is the open pose for that now that everything is dialed in we can go ahead and generate our seed image. So let's say this is the image that you want to keep. It's in the style that you, you're looking for and there's the pose matching the reference image. You take the seed from here and you put it in this box. Now before we can move over to the batch tab, we've got to reset a few things, otherwise we will use the same reference image over and over for every frame in the batch. To do that, just close down this image over in control net. For each one of the control nets, remove the image, untick upload independent control image, do that on each one of them. Okay, now you're ready to go over to the batch tab, put in your input directory, which has all the frames of the video, and your output directory, and click generate. After generation has complete, uh, this is what the output is going to look like. Sorry, that is the original image. Let me just find. 
this one there we go so this is the generated frame by frame images i spent a long time with the hands i still haven't found a very good way to work with the hands and make them look better a detailer gives me different results when it's switched on or switched off but here you can see an arm bent out of proportion and eventually it works itself out some hands have very bad proportions but that's okay i think it's turned out very well the other thing i noticed on the original image the hands are blurred and that creates um, a problem with any of the image generation or saddle diffusion when the, there is a blur in the image to help prevent that you can upscale your image and that does help me for each one of these generations but this really turned out very well that's all for today and i hope you enjoyed it if you want to learn more about stable diffusion and automatic 1111 check out the links below in the description as always please support this channel by subscribing and clicking on the like button below